When we initially began our personalized learning journey, we never knew that it would take on you know, a life of its own and really encourage us to look at how we were teaching. I think what made us really interested from the beginning was the ability for students to really own their own learning rather than just be a receptacle where they're just listening. Because the data shows that the more engaged the student is and the more they feel empowered to own their learning, the more they will remember five years down the road, 10 years down the road. In a personalized learning environment, the main focus and the focus that you never lose sight of is who the learner is. Um, how do they learn best? It's not a one-size-fits-all model, and it's not a model where you're going to have quiet classrooms. It's a place where there's a lot of action, and learning is actually very fun. <laughs> Some students are doing skill-based work with the teacher. Another group of students might be doing something collaborative. It kind of looks different based on the day and what the students need and what their skill level is at. And knowing how to tap into a student's unique and individual strengths has allowed them to really flourish in ways we never could have imagined. I think having more control for the future is gonna be helpful because moving on to high school and college, we're gonna to have to be more independent. One of the things that's just absolutely wonderful about it is no matter the size of the class, I have face-to-face -face time with almost every student almost every day. The overwhelming majority of our students feel that this model speaks to them better as learners and they feel like their teacher is teaching to them. Uh, just like I learned better and like uh, I feel smarter. Our report cards look very different today than they did in the past, right? It used to be you got an A, B, C. What does that mean, right? We don't know. Nobody knows, right? A means that my kid's doing well. B, not as well. That's all we knew. It said nothing about are they mastering the material. Now it's critical because the data forces us to ask those questions in a very positive way. We start by looking first at the individual student and we look at his growth and we see is this child progressing and then we look at how does he compare to the rest of the class. We then look at the class as compared to the rest of the grade. We also have the ability to look at the grade and Mariah against national norms and we're really able to track a student's growth along many different lines which gives us a really complete picture of that student's academic profile. It has been an incredible experience for the parent body here. The changes that have occurred with personalized learning have really empowered my son. You're able to see the maturity in children today at Mariah. They're contributing to the discussion as opposed to being the subject that, or the object that's being focused on. It's, it's really amazing.